Hey everybody, we're here to talk with you and our teacher, Miss Brooke, to learn more about Dancing on Point. Yeah! <laughs> So guys, who's ready to be in point shoes for the first time? Me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay. yeah? No? I'm scared. Are you? Why are you scared? I don't know. I think it might hurt a lot. Well, what do you think, Erin? You're on point shoes already. Um, does it hurt? It, it does, but it's not that bad. Like, mm -hmm. you, you get used to it. Mm -hmm. When do your feet kind of start, like, hurting? Like, um, usually, like, for me, like, middle of bar. That's when they like start to like kind of hurt a little bit. Start to feel a little pressure. Yeah. 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 But there's ways around that, right? I'm sure you've learned with trial and error what you can do yes. to help I, your toes. I tape my toes and I wear little like socks with like some lamb's wool. And toe pads. Toe pads. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm good. Mm hmm. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the difference between broken in and dead? Good question. Okay, so when you first get your brand new pair of point shoes, well, it's really hard, they're yeah. stiff, they feel kind of like a block, right? And then the more you wear them, the glue and the material start breaking down slightly, and once they're super comfortable, that would be broken in. Yeah, but dead then would mean there's not support left, maybe you're going over too far, or you can't get up the whole way. So broken in is that just right feeling that you can feel strong and confident in your dancing, and when they get a little too dead, they're a little too soft, right? And it's no yeah. longer good for your feet to dance when they're, you know, that far. So how does it feel to be on point? How does it, I don't know, Erin, how does it feel? Um, I don't know, it's fun. I feel really tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's different it's at first. Different. But if you're on point as long as I was, it gets very comfortable. Yeah. So at first you'll be, you'll feel a little, ooh. Your, foot, your feet kind of feel like really big at first too. Mm -hmm. But then you get used to it. And you have to use your muscles a little bit different so you can be up, you know, super high. Not on relevant. Exactly, yeah, right on your toes. So it takes some getting used to. Yeah. How long did it take you until you got used to like going on point? That's a good question. Um, I'd say a couple years actually. I think in the very beginning, see, what do you think too? With my first year, yeah. still getting a little used to it. I'm by the second a year, year yeah. a little bit better. By the third year, you're like, okay, I got this. <laughs> yeah? Like anything, it takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Does it hurt when you your nails are really long? Like, yeah, so that's a great question. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah, so they, to me. Like, bend over? What happens is that if they're too long, it's, it's pressure, exactly, against the tip of the shoe, so your nails will get bruised. Yeah. And sometimes you can't even fully see the black and blue, the bruising, but they're so sore to the touch. So having your nails, um, your toenails trimmed to the exact right length, not too short and not too long, is very important. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What Do else? Do you mind showing us the different parts of the point shoe? Sure. Erin, do you want to help? Okay. So this is the shank. Mm -hmm. The shank, that's what the support comes from, from your right arch. Up on point. Mm -hmm. And then this is the box, and you want to be fully on the box when you're on point. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. So this is the box. Yeah. Do you know what? What is this called? It's like the platform. Platform, or we call it the tip yeah, sometimes. Tip. Yeah, platform. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So this is the box, and then you want to be all the way up on the platform. When your boxes get too soft, then it's hard to get up and you'll go over. This is a good example of a kind of a dead shoe. Yeah, yeah. there's not much support left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you know what this is called right here? The, the vamp? Vamp, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like the different kinds of um, like point shoes, like why, like is there something like different about them? Like some of them are like one kind is like has Harder, a lot of, or a little softer, yeah. or yes, absolutely. There are many different brands of point shoes, and that's another thing that you will experiment with different which brands. And even within each brand, there is a different make or a model, basically, mm -hmm. kind of like cars, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll find out which point shoe fits your foot the best, you know, depending on if you need something a little stronger, a little softer, maybe a different shape. So they're all different kinds out there that you'll be able yeah. to play with and find what works for you. That's the fun part. It takes a little while to figure out what's best. Yeah. What are some of the best things to do for your feet to get your feet ready for point? It's a great question. There's a lot of exercises that you can do with like a TheraBand. 
Um, just do a lots and lots of releves to get those the little ankle muscles. We, you know, there's so many muscles in our feet and ankles, right? So we have to get each one of those really, really strong. So lots of releves. There, bands. Mm -hmm. So the first time you sew your um, your point shoes, mm -hmm. is there like a basic way that you might do it, or? Yeah, that's a great question too. And this Erin like did a really good job. So you want to have the elastic towards the back of the heel. Mm -hmm. Some people sew on the inside. Mm -hmm. Some people sew or like on the outside or inside. That is. Mm -hmm. kind of looks a little nicer on the inside, but it's more comfortable on the outside. Uh -huh. So that is something you can, you know, work with. And then the ribbon a little further down. A lot of people use the seam right here as a judgment on where you're going to, you know, have your ribbon. But again, that all can depend on where your arch is. So for me, my arch is really far down, so I might have my ribbons a little further versus you might have it a little further back. And it's just dependent on the shape of your foot because the ribbon will help pull everything up. So I think this is a great start. Yeah. Elastic in the back, ribbon a little bit further down. And some people even have the crisscross elastics, one, which I actually like because it's a little bit more supportive. So all things that you can, you can experiment with, right? <laughs> yeah. So you put on your shoe, obviously. <laughs> and then I was taught, these are sometimes a little long, you go around. And you want to tie it on the inside of your leg, like this. And then I double knot it. And tuck it in. So it looks neater. Mm -hmm. Yep. I tied mine a little high. It's Sometimes a little high. Yeah, you can lower. do a little bit lower because it helps with the line of your foot. Yeah but you'll experiment as well with that a little lower and always want to make sure the knot is tucked in so it's very neat and on the inside, never on the outside or the back, right? Good. Are there any other ways to tie a point shoe? There's different kinds of ribbons, um, but that is the classical, the, the traditional way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What has been some of your favorite things about being on point? Okay, so I really wanted to get on point, and then when I got on point, I was super excited. And it was just my first class, and I was really excited, and um, it went pretty well. It was really fun, but I got a little sore on my toes after the first class, but it wasn't too bad. And I really enjoy it, and it's really fun. So, yeah. It is fun. It's very fun. And once you have them, and once you're in them for a couple years, it feels really strange to go back to wearing your flat shoes all the time. Yeah, it's like, a, it, for me, I danced for so long in my point shoes, it was kind of like a comfort feeling, yeah? Because I was so used to being in them. And I loved them so much. I remember my first day of point two. What can be some of the things you can expect to be in your first point class? Good question. It's going to be very slow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very slow. Um, just very, very simple lots and lots of releves and maybe just learning how to break in your point shoe like going through the demi point and up and demi and down you're going to probably get a little impatient oh come on i want to do my turns already or i want to go do some a fancy arabesque or something like that but you have to take your time yeah start from the very beginning learn how to get very strong and secure and steady in those shoes mm -hmm. and in time you'll get to do all the, the fun stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. Parents can be a little daunting at first on point because you go from being here to the whole way up, so you have to push a little bit different. Um, so it can be a little scary at first, but one of the key things I will tell you is don't hold back, don't get scared, because when we, we tighten up, we freeze, you know, everything, it doesn't, your body doesn't uh, respond as well, and you know how to dance, you know how to do these things, so just let, let it all happen, you know, don't get, don't get too scared. <laughs> If you could tell your younger self when you actually started on point, <laughs> what is something you would tell them? Oh, goodness. Um, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Yeah. Some people, um, like anything in life, sometimes things come a little quicker to others, um, and you might take a little bit longer, or maybe you get it right off the bat, and it's really easy, and you, you can get to the tops of, you know, tips of the point very well. Mm -hmm. Just be patient. It takes time. And with all things, you know, we, we want to take that time. We want to do things properly. And, you know, so I think I would tell myself, it's okay, Brooke. You, you'll get this eventually. <laughs> yeah. And 
maybe what something you want to tell all the girls out there that are wanting to know a little bit more on what to expect for their point. I'm seeing what else did we not cover? I think we got everything. Um, I just think of, of how beautiful it is, you know. Um, Ballet in itself is such a beautiful art form and being able to move through space with our bodies and then adding that point shoe is just, you know, kind of the exclamation point at the end of the sentence. It just adds one more beautiful little touch. So I just yeah. think the appreciate, you know, being appreciative of being able to get up there and what we can do with our feet. And I agree. Yeah. Thanks for talking with us. Oh, of course. Like this video. Subscribe to the Justice Channel. Thanks for watching!